My friends, you are the definition of unconditional love, but you have to learn to stay in love and love every single thing that arises. Love isn't weak. It's not soft. It's power itself. And it's just another word for what you are. Love the pain. Love the darkness. The only reason, or I'll say one of the reasons, why we believe thoughts and emotions are negative or bad, is that we separate ourselves from them. We separate them from love. And that creates the illusion that you're being attacked by them. It creates the illusion that something is happening to you. Now yes, what you are directly isn't a thought or an emotion because, in all honesty, they aren't even real. They're just another appearance being dreamed of by consciousness. But at the same time, nothing in this dream is separate from you. Nothing is separate from love, because all there truly is, is love. I always use the screen that a movie is playing on to describe what I mean by that. The screen itself isn't the content that's being played on it, but whatever is happening on the screen isn't separate from it. You can't find the separation between the screen and the content that's being played on it, because it's all one. So even though thoughts, the body, emotions, this world, etc., aren't real, love is. This whole thing is your creation. Have fun with it. Love fear, love anxiety, love doubt, love all of it. When you bring these appearances back home, they can no longer affect you. Love not knowing, love confusion, love what's here in this very moment, regardless of what appears. Life is a dream. Stop taking it so seriously. Consciousness created all of this and you are that consciousness. When you step into being this unconditional love that you are, the victim mentality will go away because you become one with everything. This realization makes it impossible for you to feel attacked by this whole dream because what's outside of this dream that can attack you? If you are literally the whole dream itself, you're everybody, every animal, every rock and tree, every cloud, every fish in the ocean. All of this is you. And I'm not talking to the person. The person is also being dreamed by you. I want to make this clear. What you are isn't an experience, and the seeking mind is a major way to do so, because when the mind seeks, it's searching for some kind of experience. But what you are is closer than any experience. This is why we tend to overlook it and look for it in experience. When you hear, you are God, or you are love, most times, the mind creates what that would be like. But what I'm pointing to isn't an experience. Love isn't an experience, because you can love an experience. So where is this love coming from? You can also love yourself. When people say, I love myself, well, who is the I that loves myself? If the myself is the mind and body, then who is the I that loves it? This I is what you truly are. It's the I that's aware of the experience of the myself seeking, and this I never comes and goes. So, if I'm telling you that what you are never comes and goes, then how could you be an experience? Experiences come and go all the time, but the sense of I doesn't. Five minutes ago, you weren't watching this video. You were having a completely different experience, but the I stayed the same. If you were an experience, the moment one experience passes, you would cease to exist. But notice that throughout your whole life, there has been something here that has witnessed every single experience, and it hasn't changed. Only the experiences have. It has never left your side, regardless of whether you were aware of it or not. Go to that which is witnessing experience. That is the true sense of I. And it's not actually somewhere you can go to. It's here and now. And if the mind starts looking for something, notice you're aware of the experience of a seeker looking for what I'm pointing to, and love that. Also, notice that you don't have to try to be the awareness that's aware, because even the activity of trying is effortlessly noticed by what you truly are. And this very simple being of that awareness is what you are. That is God. That is what's in touch with this whole dream. That is what you really are. That is the unconditional love. When you study the nature of this, you realize it's accepting of everything, 
because it's the space that allows experience to be here. It accepts anger, confusion, seeking, hate, sadness, murder, evil, good, bad, etc. It accepts it all because it's unconditional love. If the love is conditional, then it's not love because love is unconditional. God is unconditional love, regardless of what your character has done in the so-called past. It's still loving unconditionally, and you have the choice to no longer act as the character in this dream. You can be the love that you have always been. This is the key to ending suffering permanently. Pain can still be here, but not suffering. You're already this love, you just haven't realized it yet. And if you have realized it through glimpses, know that it's available to you at all times, because it's what you are. I recently watched a video where someone said you can't find yourself. Looking for what you are is like trying to hear the ears or trying to see the eyes. There's a journey to self-realization, but it's funny because when you realize it, you understand you never had to look for it because it's what you have always been. So, in a way, there isn't a journey. You come to realize you never actually were on a journey because the one who claims to be the one who is seeking for it is seen through. You were never the seeker because the seeker doesn't truly exist. I know how crazy this sounds, but you can realize exactly what I'm pointing to, and you'll understand it in a different way. It won't be a conceptual understanding, it will be more of a feeling of truth. It becomes undeniable. The ego thinks you have to wait for some future moment in your experience to change so that you can be what you already are. But stop looking for experiences and notice that which is always here and aware of every experience. Be the knowingness of experience. You don't have to know anything to be what you are. You are this before you learned anything here on earth. You are the sense of knowing, not the one who knows something, but the one who knows the one who claims to know something. You don't have to think about what this is. You can't think about what you aren't, because what you are is the awareness of the thoughts that are trying to figure out what you are. So do not know you, but you know thought. Go to that which knows thought. Thoughts do not know love. This is why everyone has their own definition of it, because love, God, you can't be described. You literally can't be talked about. So don't lean on your own understanding of this. Become comfortable with not knowing anything, because what you truly hear knows nothing. Only the ego can claim to have knowledge and know something. That's why it's so hard to talk about this. And honestly, the more I talk about it, the more I actually want to stop, because I know how the mind can take this information. But I know it can help, if you are listening to feel into what I'm saying instead of trying to gain more information. I know part of you resonates with what I am pointing to. It's why you continue seeking. So, if you had to take one thing from this video, it would be to have unconditional love for whatever arises. If you're asking how to do that, first know that love isn't a human thing. It's not an activity done by humans. You can't do love. You can only be it. And don't get confused with all the labels. Love is just another word for consciousness, or God, or awareness. It's another name given to you. But you can't think love, or try to imagine loving something necessarily. You can only be love. And when you're being love, you're being God. You're being this one and only consciousness. You're being your true nature. So relax. I know there may be some blockages in the heart, so love those. Love that you feel lost. If you feel lost, love that the mind is still seeking, and know that you're only able to love these appearances because they don't define you. Thoughts don't define what you are. The body doesn't define what you are. But don't push them away and make them appear separate from love. Bring everything, including your dark side, back home to love and light. Only the light can survive in darkness. I love all of you and look forward to your comments. Walk in light, my friends. Until next time, my friends, I ask all people everywhere to plant seeds of love, peace, joy, and oneness.